Hello everyone, I'm Helen Erlin and I am Executive Director of the Erlin Institute. Today I think we'd like to, today we'd like to talk about how important math is. For some reason, reading takes more importance than math, but math is important too. And you may have children who you just think are making sloppy or careless errors with math, or you think that they aren't as good in math and they're just better in other subject areas, but there may be a real underlying problem called perceptual processing problems or Erlen syndrome. How do you know? Let's talk about a few simple things that you should look at. One is, does your child take an exorbitant amount of time to do their math work? Do they work hard, they know the concepts, but then when they take the tests, they don't do as well as you would expect. When you analyze it, they're making careless errors. Um, and so it's kind of confusing or frustrating. A lot of times these students are actually not seeing the numbers correctly or maybe not even seeing the math signs correctly. I remember one parent who said to me, yeah, my child understands addition give them a page with all addition facts, never has a problem, give them a page with all subtraction facts, has no problems, gets them all correct. But when you give him a page where there's both addition and subtraction facts, he makes all kinds of silly errors. Well, it turned out that the pluses sometimes look like pluses for him, but at other times they look like minuses. The same type of distortions can happen with geometry and algebra, so that the students reading the formulas are incorrectly, or that they're doing things on graph paper or having to read graphs, and the graphs are moving back and forth, so it's hard for them to get the numbers accurately. Thinking about graph paper, Think about learning your math tables with graph paper, where you had to look up the top and look at the side and then go together. Those who have Erlen syndrome may be able to learn math if they didn't have to see it on a graph paper because they can't see it. It's moving, it's disappearing. Many things can be happening. Um, in addition, think about the student who can't keep their numbers in columns and lined up or that their writing is sloppy, so they're writing it in the wrong place. Um, these can be all indications that your child can do math, but there's an underlying reason that they're struggling or not doing as well as they should. And think about Erlen syndrome and check out www.erlen.com for more information about how perception can hinder math. Thank you so much for joining me today.